Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna tackle how to add VR or use the VR Oculus Quest in, uh, inside of Unreal. Uh, although this is a third uh, person project, it will have an option for VR. It's always best to uh, try different game modes to understand how Unreal Engine works and this you will have a better overall idea of how it works. The easiest way to use VR inside of projects is to use the uh, VR preview option in Unreal. Uh, I'll showcase this to you how to do it uh, shortly. Uh, this tutorial will be focused on the Oculus uh, Quest 2. So uh, other the platforms or goggles or will work, but uh, you have to, there's probably different steps, but the, as Steam shows, uh, Oculus Quest 2 is the most used uh, VR goggle. So basically we're gonna do those few steps. So we're gonna set up the software, setting the developer mode in the MetaQuest app, and I will show you also how to set up uh, Android Studio, which is one of the most crucial steps, and uh, installing Visual Studio as well. Also later, I'm gonna show you how to add uh, an already designed uh, uh, 3d set like this modern house was free in March but you can use actually any environment uh, but you have to make sure it's optimized for VR this actually is not optimized for VR but I'm gonna show you a tip uh, in this video on how to optimize it and uh, this will work for most environments first we're gonna start by installing Android Studio uh, as I've seen on uh, many forums and uh, online pages that uh, uh, Android Studio version 4 is required as of January uh, 2023. Uh, this depends on when you start the project. You have to check which version is required and supported. So now we're going to be installing Android Studio. going to go to this link. I'm going to post it in the description again. Then go to Android Studio Archive. Press on that. That's it. Go to the page. You have to accept the terms. Scroll down until we find version 4. That's the one supported. You're going to see there's newer ones, but uh, they're not necessarily supported. So you always have to check which version is supported. You are going to, for my, in my case, choose the Windows IDE, download it, wait for it to download, then go to the location and double click on that. I already installed it so I'm not gonna go through that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you don't need to start a new project or anything. You just have to run it and keep it in the background. The next step is to download the Oculus app for the Windows. Uh, we're gonna search for it on Google. Use the link. Now we're gonna go to this page scroll down as you can see there is an air link and a link cable now something to keep in mind and there's the air link and the link cable the air link is as the name suggests it's wi-fi using wi-fi and wireless uh, i suggest using the link cable it's more stable with a usb 3 cable uh, i use a usb 2 the one that came with the quest it works but it's much lower quality and actually the air link was faster than the usb 2 that was in my case, so I always suggest using USB 3 cable for testing. Uh, your mileage will vary. A link is also good, but uh, it's always a cable is better. And there is a button below it uh, called Download Software. I'm gonna press on that. Download. Then we're, we're gonna go to the download location, double click on the file. I've already installed it. So I'm not gonna go through that. It's you're gonna keep the default settings. Then open it. Uh, then you're gonna select Open Oculus because I've already downloaded it, as I said. Then go to Devices. Uh, if the Quest is connected, you're gonna see connected here. I'm gonna showcase this to you later. <coughs> so next step is to download the Visual Studio Community Edition. Uh, we're gonna go to this link make sure it's the community edition and it's free and uh, that's the latest version as as of time of uh, creating on the video in 2022 the community edition i mean not the video and uh, now we just download it we go to the place we downloaded it all the location double click i've already downloaded it so 
it will uh, just open the edit menu I think but it's set for just so the defaults and make sure you select the uh, develop uh, the game development with C++ option so it can work in Obi uh, now it's time to create uh, an oculus developer account so you have to uh, sign up usually you can continue with facebook your regular facebook account but uh, or an email address uh, meta or facebook uh, lately uh, allows vr and oculus uh, users to create an, an additional account just for uh, uh, like VR gaming and stuff, so both accounts are separated. Uh, that's actually a very good move, and people were waiting for this for years. So you can search the option uh, you like. Next step is to go to the MetaQuest uh, app on your iPhone. If you don't, if you didn't download it, just download it. Then go to the settings, and you can see it's connected now, synced just now. So I did those steps. Now menu and just uh, enable the developer mode so if you have any issues just to troubleshoot it fast uh, make sure android uh, studio is installed properly and open uh, then make sure that you're connected uh, the oculus using the link cable and the developer mode is uh, enabled in the mobile app and access is enabled and allowed in the oculus lift itself and in many cases you would need to restart I mean, the engine itself or uh, unplug or replug the link cable again so if doing all of the mentioned before it didn't work you have to activate it uh, manually by going to settings then oculus link uh, then you're in the VR environment now now as soon as you connect the cable you're gonna get connected as you can see I'm connected to USB 2 and there's like an error uh, that shows that it's not connected to USB 3 as I said before it's recommended to connect using uh, USB 3 cable and definitely the original one is better uh, through Wi-Fi is also okay but, uh, but I have the two now and for demo purposes it will work and now we will launch a new virtual reality template and get started so now we're gonna go to those three dotted lines select vr preview it should show now since we've done all the prerequisites and gone through the troubleshooting we select it and now we're in uh, this is like a uh, it shows a 2d version of the what i'm seeing but to show uh, to see it uh, the reality you have to have of course a uh, an actual uh, oculus quest goggles or helmet whatever you call it uh, you can see while i'm tilting my head you can see the tilting it's a bit nauseating i know but in the helmet it's much better uh, you can grab stuff yeah as you can see uh, shoot and there you have physics applied so that's cool that's out of the box you can use elements here to and incorporate it into your project i'm having a little bit trouble uh, holding stuff because i'm laying down to be honest <laughs> so it's better to sit uh, now we're gonna teleport here's the vr spectator this is used to like cast uh, what you're seeing into another screen maybe a tv or a mirror cast or like a mystic or something like that uh, you can teleport those regions you can see uh, good quality now to the left side there's no teleport zone you can this is usually accomplished using nav uh, meshes as you can see you, can, you cannot teleport there so in the next video i'm going to show you how to import a ready-made environment like, such as this one uh, so stay tuned uh, it's not that difficult a little bit longer video and I will show you how to tweak some settings to achieve better the quality inside the lift because this is a bit uh, graphic heavy. So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for next video in the series. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is very important so that I can make more videos. It takes a lot of time for me to uh, fix issues. Uh, come up with the ideas, uh, video record them and stuff and then edit. 
I would really appreciate it. Thanks.